Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. I'm heading out to do some errands. I'm inside and I still have this ND filter on here, so it might look a little bit wonky. But I just wanted to show you how I have this RS set up. And as a side note, I found that yesterday recording with this, as I was going all over the place and Pleasure House Point and all that kind of stuff, it was cutting off the end of what I was saying and doing. So I'm gonna have to be mindful of that and make sure I leave a longer pause after I'm done talking or showing you whatever before I shut the recording off because it literally cut almost every one of my things off. So it required a little bit more creative editing. But I'm gonna show you in the magic mirror here what we got going on. Um, I don't know how close I can get. You can't really see it, <laughs> figures. But, all right, take a look, see here. So here I have the uh, this power grip. It's a Ulanzi BG3, I think a 10,000 milliamp power grip. I have this, the ZDO tripod feet on there, and then I have a Ulanzi ball head that I have mounted to this grip. And then I just use the Insta360 USB-C cable that came with it. And then, of course, I have it mounted on a like a Peak Design plate into the normal GoPro-y type thing. And then I'm using the Rode Wireless Go 2 for audio, and I have that audio adapter in there. So I can power up through the bottom perfectly from the grip and then have the audio play. Ooh, the audio came off. So the audio is probably gonna sound like shit too because that popped out and I didn't notice it, but whatever. Okay, so there you go. That's how I had this set up. If I hold this all the way out, I mean, this is at least as long as the selfie stick. Of course, not extended. This isn't gonna extend or anything like that, but I don't really need to extend it. I have in the past just because I could, but I think that's a little bit more for the 360 lenses. But when I'm out vlogging like this, I think this is just perfect. We are going to go out. I have a number of things that I have to do. I am all caught up with day job work though. I actually did it while I was sitting inside all morning and on my calls and everything so that I didn't have anything else to do tonight. So I'll just have to pack and have a leisurely night. That's pretty much it. And I'll show you my cat. He likes to sit behind the door because it builds up heat next to the sunspot. And he can look outside and see the bunnies or the birds or the lizards. So now we're gonna go out and do some errands. So let's do that. All right. Sound like Linda Belcher. All right, got a lot done so far. I went and picked up packages. Actually, back up. I went and got gas, so I don't have to get it tomorrow morning when I'm leaving to go on the road. Then I went and picked up packages. Fortunately, more presents for my wife for her birthday. So I'm all set now. Uh, one part, one accessory for the new toy that should be arriving in the next couple of weeks. And I actually had to call MPB. Well, I didn't call them because they didn't have a phone number, but uh, I sent them an email and wrote out the whole thing about how I have two deals going with them and I wanted to nix one deal and put all that money towards the other deal. And they haven't gotten back to me. And then I tracked the packages that I sent on Thursday and then Friday, and they both showed up today. Riddle me that one, Batman. So. We'll see what they say about that. I mean, one way or the other, I'll make it work out. And then I went to the seamstress and took one of my wife's dresses that she needed some stuff done on. And then I just went grocery shopping again. Because I have groceries, especially frozen stuff, I have to go straight home. I'm not really ready or wanting to go home, but I gotta go home. So I'll ditch the, the groceries and stuff and go to the bathroom and I don't know, maybe think of something else to do. It's only 3.40. So, uh, you know, she's not going to be home until 5. And again, I, I did all my day job stuff for the day. So I'm good to go. It's just been a low-key day. Like, typical Monday, you know, all morning is calls and, and sitting around doing shit in between calls. And that's that. I am going to now sprint to the bathroom and then unpack the groceries. I just do not feel well. Ugh. The bitch of it is, is that I want to go to sleep. But if I take a nap, I will wake up. I will feel 10 times worse, and then I won't be able to go to sleep tonight. Hello, kids. I thought I'd give you a new perspective. Why? Because I feel like shit. That's why. I had a horrible, horrible night's sleep. I woke up at 2, and I was awake for a while. Then I woke up again at 4, and I was awake for a while. And then I got up this morning when she got up, which was way earlier than I needed to get up. And I have been dragging ass 
all day long. And I went out and did all those errands and got all that shit done. I'm trying to force myself not to nap because at this point it's 25 to 5. If I sleep now, I will never get to sleep tonight. And then I'll have to drive all freaking day tomorrow and be exhausted like that. So that's not going to happen. I'm not going to nap. Plus, as I've already whined before, I always feel like shit after I nap anyway. So I don't really think it's going to help me much. I am going to kick back and relax, though, for a little bit, which means I won't relax. And I'm going to get up here and I'm going to do 200 things. I'm not going to blather on for the sake of talking. There's no point. You're just going to get a really short, crappy video today uh, with, you know, me going and running some errands and then me laying on the floor moaning about how I feel like crap. So that's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.